backbones. The Muslim world benefited from this railroad immensely. It brought the whole of the Muslim Ummah together for a righteous cause and Islamic unity. The road between Damascus and Medina, which used to take 40 days on camelback, was now traveled in only 72 hours due to the transportation of goods. The regions where the railway passed through developed economically. The safety of Ottoman territory as far as Yemen would be ensured and the transportation of troops would be much easier. Building the railway to Hejaz would also enable the country to take precautions against Britain, which had previously invaded Egypt. Also, the travel of the pilgrims would be secure, as Bedouins would be tasked with the protection of the railway. The Ottoman Empire and the Khalifa earned a huge prestige. The self-confidence of Muslims refreshed. The Ottoman Empire was at this point no longer the same weak state that Abdul Hamid II had inherited in 1776, but rather, with the help of the Caliphate and the Muslim world, it had re-emerged as one of the superpowers of the world.